Hi, I'm Patrick Reed from the Adamus Principal. Um, what a week it's been. I mean, we started with the Turkish Lira gapping down up to the tune of 16% over the weekend. Um, this caused some uh, cage rattling in emerging markets, certainly from uh, some of the carry currencies, but not only that, but in G10 closer to home, you had a PM Arden looking to curb house prices. Kiwi dollar sank on this. You had sex scandals in Australia, right? Um, all of this coupled with some dovish comments from ECB's lane, dragging euro dollar down, put a bid under dollar. And that has been the entire theme all week. And nothing's really changed. We do have some kind of early signs of some flows coming into not only month end, but quarter end. But more of that next week, really. Um, at the moment, we do have a somewhat weaker dollar. Um, but on that note, let's have a look at dollar yen. This 109.69 area, prior to that, it's 109.60. We've got this 76.4 fib, um, looking like it, it might crack and close above. But at the moment, there is an exhaustion flag here. If we do believe this, then there's a little chance in it going higher. But like with all markets, especially month end and quarter end flows or thereabouts, um, anything can happen. Next chart. Okay, so this is Euro dollar. This really went from, from bad to worst. Um, you know, the, the European distribution of the vaccine is not getting uh, in a very good place. It's been like that for, for quite some time, but we really did have this, this dollar lift on, on those key, somewhat separate events, but they all helped to put an eventual lift on the dollar. And as long as we stay below 118.50 area, and then above that 119.46, we really should stay down here for quite some time. It hasn't been, look, we've been here before at this 118.50, 1840 area, but well, we snapped above there this trend channel lower. Um, but all it's all looking good for dollar bulls. Um, the big test will be 116.96. It's the 38.2 fib, and it is quite some level down there. Next chart. Okay, Aussie dollar, really fairly tight ranges, um, but it did tank lower on the sex scandal in Australia government. So um, you really have to break 75.66 for this to, to really test the first real level for me, which is 74.20. If that cracks, then you're looking at a big four figures and some around 70.57. Next chart. Okay, so cable, how about that? We. Um, in, infuriating for the bears, we cracked, we really sliced through this monster trend line at 137, 40 to 50 area, but we sliced them all the way up through that again. So it really doesn't uh, bear, uh, you know, try and dig your in, get, dig your view in, you'd be, you'd be losing money. Um, and as I said, it's Friday, it is, Thin liquidity and there are month end and, and quarter end flows but that's it from me um if you if you want to uh trade today just just take it easy because next week will be i'm sure there'll be more uh macroeconomic news um, especially from the tensions in china and uh and the uk and of, obviously australia and the us but that's it from me patrick reed at Davis principal thank you